Today is Earth Day, and there is no denying the planet is getting warmer. In Alaska, the effects of climate change are clear to see. Glaciers in the state melting at record rates, and climate scientists say this is bad news for all of us, not just Alaska. NBCLX's climate storyteller Chase Kane went there to see firsthand what the Earth has lost. Yeah, so the Kinnick Glacier is five miles wide at the very bottom, about 25 miles long, goes up to 9,200 feet. Alaska's glaciers hold almost unreal beauty, but what's very real is how quickly they're melting. And see, this is all new right here. This iceberg broke off probably about two weeks ago. Tyler and Brian with Alaska Helicopter Tours guided us over a half dozen glaciers near Anchorage, and the evidence of climate change almost everywhere beneath us and all around as we landed alongside one. This is one of the places where you can most clearly see evidence of the glaciers melting. This is Lake George, which will of course melt as we get into summer. And then if you look down here, you see these chunks of ice which broke off of Colony Glacier last year. And then even along the edge, you can see how the ice is already separating from Colony Glacier. That's going to be the part of the glacier that breaks off this summer and possibly ends up in the lake and eventually melting. What's less visible is the deflation of the glacier. And so we see the margins, that's obvious, and we see it receding or retreating, and that's obvious, but, but the thinning is, is less obvious. And that's really where most of the loss is, is happening. Brian is a climate scientist with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And here's some quick context. One gigaton of melting ice would cover New York's Central Park in water. And that water would be deep enough to submerge the Chrysler building and then some. And scientists say the world is currently losing 300 gigatons of ice from glaciers every year. That's only the most direct, tangible way. Indirectly, or less tangibly, you know, it's increasing the instance of wildfire. It's affecting when we can plant crops and overall agricultural productivity. You know, my kids who are teenagers, they talk about what it used to be like here. I mean, so the changes aren't occurring on natural you know, geologic or even sub-geologic scales. They're occurring uh, at, at yearly and decadal scales. So Alaska is the state that is warming faster than any other United States state. It's about 4.3 degrees hotter than it was just 50 years ago. So that's having a profound impact on this landscape, on people here. And by the way, it's important to point out that what's happening in Alaska affects you no matter where in the United States you live. It is changing weather patterns. We're getting more intense flooding in the east. We're getting those prolonged drought and wildfires out west.